Hi guys, so today I wanted to do a video on how to be efficient as a nurse. Efficiency is so important as a nurse, especially when you have a multitude of patients or if you have, you know, maybe just one or two patients but they're super critical, you have to be organized, you have to manage your time and you need to be efficient. When I first started as a nurse, uh, I was not very efficient. I had to learn how to be efficient and luckily I caught on quick but for example like I would go in and you know get a patient a medication then I'd be like oh I should have asked if they needed help to the bathroom so then I would leave and then I'd have to go back and help them to the bathroom then I'd be like oh I should have grabbed this and this or when I got a new admission I used to not really grab you know the telemetry or the SCDs or the TED hose or anything like that before they got in the room and then once I'd get this admission I'd be running down the hall into the next room into the storage room into the clean utility to get gather all my supplies and it was so chaotic and then I learned you know before my patient gets admitted I'm gonna check if they need an allergy band I'm gonna grab a fall risk band I'm gonna grab a DNR band if they're a DNR. I'm going to grab the telemetry box if they're on telly and I had everything ready in the room so when they got to the room I would hook them all up and they would be good to go versus me grabbing one thing and coming in the room and another thing and anyways so I wasn't very efficient when I started off and I had to learn how to be more efficient and that just takes time but I'm going to show you some ways that I have become more efficient as a nurse. The first thing I do and I teach all my students this when I have a student is at the beginning of my shift when I'm getting report after or before I look at my patient's chart and I see what medications are due when. I look at if there's gonna be any procedures done, if there's gonna be any labs drawn and things like that and I write down for you know my shift is from 1500 to 2330 and I would write down every little like Thing. So at 1600, I'm going to assess this patient and I need to give them protonics. And at 1700, they need their floor store. And you know, at 1800, my fluid bag is probably going to be empty, so I'm, I write down fluids. And as I go through, I check off everything. If the patient needs to have a dressing change, I will write down dressing change and I will cross that off once that gets done. And that has ha helped me a lot and I it works really well for me to have a task and cross it off and be like okay that's done what's next the next thing to do to be efficient is when you have downtime if you have downtime don't put something off just because you have downtime if there's a dressing change that needs to get done and you have you know 30 minutes before your next patient's med is due, then go and do that dressing change because you never know if you're going to get admission or discharge or if your patient's going to go downhill and then the night's going to get away from you and you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I was supposed to do that dressing change and I should have done it when I had time and now I don't have time so I can't do it and I have to pass it along to the next nurse and they're going to be like, well, what the heck? <laughs> Why'd you save this for me? So anyways, be efficient by doing things when you have time to do them. I also like to at the beginning of my shift and every place is different so I don't know if you could do this but I put alcohol swabs in my pocket. If I have three patients I usually put three flushes in my pocket and so that way I have those things on me so I'm not running out of the room and and you know back in the room just to grab those small things. So those are just some of the few ways that I try to be efficient as a nurse. There's so many different things that you can do but I just wanted to give you guys little tips because it's so important to be efficient and productive and help your shifts run smoothly rather than setting yourself up for failure. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time.